Romaim, Romans 4. What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, has found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he has whereof to glory, but not before Elohim. For what says the scripture? Abraham believed Elohim, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that works is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that works not, but believes on him that justifies the wicked, his belief is counted for righteousness. Even as David also describes the blessedness of the man unto whom Yahweh imputes righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are those, rather they, whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom Yahuwah will not impute sin. Comes this blessedness then upon the circumcision only or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that belief was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. How was it then reckoned? When he was in circumcision or in uncircumcision? not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the belief, which he had yet being uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also, and the father of circumcision to them, who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that belief of our father Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the Torah, but through the righteousness of belief. For if they which are of the Torah are heirs, belief is made void, and the, and the promise made is of no effect, because the Torah is a work's wrath. For where there is no Torah, there is no transgression. Therefore it is of belief that it might be by grace. To the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the Torah, but to that also which is of the belief of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations, before him whom he believed, even Yahweh, who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall your seed be. And being not weak in belief, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of Elohim through unbelief, but was strong in belief, giving glory to Elohim, and being fully persuaded what he had promised, he was able also to perform. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now, it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Yahusha HaMashiach, our Adonai from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification.